Good evening. Hello and welcome. You're watching the Super Saturday Debate with me, Anusha Soni. It was curtains down today on the 17th Lok Sabha as the Prime Minister made the final address. He addressed the last sitting of the Lok Sabha today ahead of the 2024 polls, referring to the resolution that was passed about the Pran Pratishtha ceremony of the Ram Temple. The Prime Minister highlighted that the resolution comprises of Samvedana, Sankalp and Sahanubhuti along with the mantra of Sapka Saat and Sapka Vikas. Well, that clearly has set the tone and tenor for the Lok Sabha elections of 2024. Whether it's the white paper that was put out by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman or the present address of the Prime Minister or what the Home Minister said earlier today in the day about the Ram Mandir. There is, of course, the word coming in from the opposition parties who argue that Ram Mandir and its Pran Pratishtha ceremony has been politicised in the run-up to Lok Sabha elections. Will that narrative really stick? Will this be the decider? in the biggest battle that we are uh, all set to see in the run-up to 2024. We talk about all these aspects uh, tonight here on Super Saturday Debate. That's our top focus. There is also a sense of confidence, और सबका साथ सबका विकास के मंत्र को आगे बढ़ाने का उसमें तत्व है। इसलिए एक ऐतिहासिक घड़ी और गौरव का दिन है। रुकावटें डाली, रोड़ा डाली, अटकाना, लटकाना, भटकाना, रास्ते से अलग तरीके से ले जाना। ये भी हम लोगों ने देखा है। तो मंदिर का एक टीआरपी बन गया है, प्राण प्रतिष्ठा का एक टीआरपी बन गया है। कि धर्म का सर्टिफिकेट क्या ये बांटेंगे? मंदिर में कौन जाएगा, कब जाएगा क्या ये इनसे हमें अनुमति लेनी पड़ेगी? हुकूमत आएगी जाएगी और हुकूमत ये ये मोदी हुकूमत जश्न मना रही है। well, is that the narrative which is going to be the defining one and the deciding and the decisive one in the run-up to 2024? Joining us on the broadcast is uh, Shahzad Punawala, the national spokesperson of BJP. We'll also be joined by Mr. Ghansham Tiwari from the Samajwadi Party. Kapil Madan, who's a lawyer, is with us on the show. Professor Bridge Bhushan Oja, who's an academician, is also with us on the broadcast. Good evening to all of you. Uh, Shahzad, beginning with you first. Has the Pran Pratishtha ceremony been politicized? The key allegation that has been made, in fact, Mr. Ovesi goes on to say, and if I were to quote him, that is this a government of Indians or only for a particular community? Why are you celebrating the demolition of Babri Masjid? First of all, Ram is not confined to one religion or faith. Ram is a matter of our collective civilizational pride. And therefore, if you see An uh, Anusha, in Haryana, Rajasthan, they say Ram Ram Sa. In, uh, you know, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, they say Jai Ram Ji Ki. When a mother is very upset with the child, she says, Hey Ram. And when somebody is frustrated completely, they say, Hey Ram, like Mahatma Gandhi said. And Mahatma Gandhi Ji also said, Ram Rajya Ki Parikalpana. The constitution has the pictures of Lord Ram. Hmm. So therefore, are you saying that all of these are communal projects? But unfortunately, this is not Gandhi Ji's Congress Party. This is Nehru Ji's Congress Party from Somnath to Ayodhya. Their only stand has been to anyways undermine any civilizational aspect of our great country. And therefore, they are practicing that politics. And by the way, I must tell you, hmm. Ram Lala, Gita and PDA, all three are with us. Now listen to what Ram Lala is. Hmm. Ram Lala means Rashtriya Suraksha, Mahila, Labharti, Leadership, Arthavyavastha, Gita means Growth, Information, Innovation, Infrastructure, Technology, Atman Nirbar Bharat and PDA means <coughs> Performance, Delivery and Aspiration. Hmm. Now, this is the Ram Lala and Gita we believe in. Hmm. But unfortunately, see, while the entire country is saying Jai Shri Ram, hmm. because Ram Mandir ka nirman has also taken place, and at the same time, India has gone to fifth position of uh, economy. At the same time, we have crossed Hong Kong when it comes to stock exchange. Hmm. We are doing Garib Kaj also with Karpuri Thakurji being given the Bharat Ratna. Hmm. We are seeing uh, the manner in which India is progressing. At hmm. the same time, people are saying Ram Nam Satya for the India Alliance. Okay. Today, look, whenever Rahul Gandhi has started, Mamta Didi is out of it, Aam Admi Party 
party is out of it, Mayavati is out of it. Today we have seen Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar is out of it. And in Uttar Pradesh also some people are vying to go out of it. So therefore, this is the Ram Nam Satya that is taking place because they have always been against Ram. So don't blame us for that. Kapil, uh, has the opposition got it completely wrong when it comes to Ram Temple? I mean, forget uh, the exit of Mr. Nitish uh, Kumar from the India Alliance. But even on the Ram Temple issue, all the opposition parties were speaking in different voices. Uh, many of them were not even a part of the Pran Pratishtha ceremony. And the biggest question was on the Congress party because many thought that this was an opportunity for them to come forward and, uh, you know, answer the BJP on a lot of questions that they have raised about their faith in the majority religion, their faith in the Sanatan uh, religion. Uh, Rahul Gandhi has been repeatedly called Chunavi Hindu. And even this time, many argue that this was an opportunity missed for the Congress party. Now, you know, I would like to just say one thing here. When I was hearing Shahzad, you know, it sounds, you know, Shahzad sounds very contradicting to me. Look at what Shahzad is saying. Now, Shahzad, is Shahzad saying that the Hindu who is not supporting the BJP, is, is he a non-Hindu? Because he says Ramlala is with us. Now, Ramlala is with everyone. Ram's blessing is with everyone. Now, mm -hmm. Shahzad wants to portray because because Pran Pratishta has happened and it was Mr. Narendra Modi who has done the Pran Pratishta of Ramlalla. He says the blessing is uh, of Ramlalla is only with them. Do you do you, don't you don't you found this you know very you know objectionable? I mean how can how can you how can you demean you know other people who are not voting for the BJP and yet they are devoted? Uh, I will I will leave that for Shazad yes. to answer. But you finish your argument first. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So, so my point is this. Now, my second point is that, you know, why, what is the charge of the opposition? Charge of the opposition is that the BJP wants to take the political mileage and they want to bring the Ram Temple to politics. Hmm. Now, let me remind Shahzad, you know, it was during the Congress government in 1986 when the locks of Ram Mandir uh, were opened. Hmm. It was in 1991. It, it was in Congress manifesto. Because and the Congress declared that they would want to uh, make Ram Mandir without uh, any kind of disturbance. Okay. And despite BJP uh, initiating Yatra in 1991, hmm. BJP included the issue of Ram Mandir in their manifesto but, for the first time. In but all of this does not answer the question, why wouldn't Congress no, or any I'm other party be part of the Pran Pratesh? No, I mean, yeah. No, no. 10 because, seconds and then I want to bring in so, Mr. Ganshan Tiwari. So, be, yes. Because it was, it was because, because the BJP can't decide and, you know, they will not decide who will visit the temple, you know, when BJP is inviting. Everyone all is right. free to visit the temple. Ganshan the there was an address by the Prime Minister today on the floor of the House as the 17th Lok Sabha and the session came to an end. He highlighted the reformative process that the country has gone through and how the democratic principles have been strengthened. The critics continue to argue, including the opposition parties and including your political party, that this seems to be a government only of one particular community. When it comes to Ram Temple, there are various questions which are being raised on the opposition parties as to why they were not a part of the Pran Pratishtha ceremony and does this really have a bearing on the 2024 general elections. Your opening comments, sir. Uh, good evening to you, the viewers and the fellow co-panelists. Three or four things remain. That we have a government that has taken away the prana pratishtha of the parliament, the sansad. Hmm. They have the infamy, the absolute infamy of lowest number of sittings of Indian parliament ever, 17th Lok Sabha. Hmm. And they beat their own infamy of the 16th Lok Sabha. They have been more Sundays in the last five years than the sittings of the parliament. Hmm. What a shame. Point one. Hmm. This is a government that disrupted its own proceedings in parliament twice because they did not want debate to happen. Point number two. The prime minister has carries the infamy of, the, of a prime minister who on an average has spoken the least number of times compared to all other prime ministers in the parliament who has not taken any questions. Obviously, he does not do press conference. That uh, the Pran Pratishtha of, of the double engine Sarkar in Manipur has not happened. Hmm. The Pran Pratishtha of Manipur has not happened is a question on the parliament. Yes, you can go on and on towards your singular political goal hmm. that Ram Mandir is your own political agenda. Hmm. But the reality is a government that has taken away the Pran of uh, the voice of the parliament, that took away the voice of the farmers, that took away the voice of Manipur that took away the voice of press in India. Hmm. It's, a, it's, a, it's a parliament where Braj Bhushan Sharan Singh cheered for the Prime Minister and Prime Minister cheered for him. All right. Where, where women, women who, who final point, Ji. it's a parliament, 17th Lok Sabha has the infamy 
for right. Modi government. All right, po po points no, taken, points taken, points taken. I, 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 I have one more uh, panelist on the broadcast, Bridge Bhushan Oja ji. Before I go to Shahzad Punawala, I want to bring in uh, Oja ji also into the discussion. Bridge Bhushan ji, namaskar. Bhot bhot shukriya hum se baat karne ke liye. Ram Mandir ka pura mudda aaj sansad mein bhi sunai diya. विपक्षी दलों का कहना है कि कहीं ना कहीं पूरा पूरी तरीके से राजनीतिकरण कर दिया गया है इस मुद्दे का आपके हिसाब से 2024 के लोकसभा चुनाव के लिए कितना अहम होगा राम मंदिर की प्राण प्रतिष्ठा और क्या बीजेपी ने इसका राजनीतिकरण किया है देखिए ये सच बात यह है कि बीजेपी ने राजनीतिकरण नहीं किया है भारत की जितनी भी सांस्कृतिक विरासत हो जितनी भी मर्यादाएं हैं जितने भी आध्यात्मिक केंद्र है उस को पुनर्जीवित किया है और यदि ये राजनीतिकरण की बात हो रही है तो अन्य पार्टियों के पास भी एक लंबा अवसर था क्यों नहीं राम मंदिर उन्होंने बना दिया प्राण प्रतिष्ठा कर दिया ये तो प्रसन्नता का विषय है ये संसद भवन नहीं पूरे दुनिया में गुज रहा है और जितने भी भारतीय हैं केवल मैं सनातन धर्मावलंबी की बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ वो किसी भी जाति से हो भगवान राम सबके हैं भगवान की जो मर्यादा है भगवान की जो प्रतिष्ठा है भगवान के जो चरित्र हैं, वो सबके लिए अनुकरणीय है पिता के प्रति भाई के प्रति अन्यों के प्रति प्रजा के प्रति जैसा राम का आचरण है क्या केवल हिंदुओं के लिए जरूरी है ये तो सबके लिए जरूरी है और निश्चित रूप से कहा जा सकता है कि कोई भी सरकार हो मैं किसी का नाम नहीं ले रहा हूँ जिसने भी भगवान राम को प्रतिष्ठित किया अपने घर में निश्चित ही उसको सब चीज मिलना चाहिए इस देश में और हम सभी उनके कृतज्ञ हैं। I think uh, the BJ uh, Shahzad Punawala would have a lot of points to rebut upon. Shahzad, your turn. Please. देखिए कपिल जी मेरी बात को समझ नहीं पाए। जब मैंने कहा राम लला हमारे साथ है, तो मैंने उसको expand करते हुए बताया कि R for राष्ट्रीय सुरक्षा, M for महिला, लाभार्थी, leadership और अर्थव्यवस्था। तो इस प्रकार से राम लला हमारे साथ है। परंतु मैं आपको दूसरा तरीका भी बताता हूँ। एक � दिखाते उदय निधि स्टालिन का बयान क्या है सनातन को समाप्त कर देंगे खड़गे जी के सुपुत्र का बयान है कि सनातन डिजीज की तरह है जिस प्रकार से राम जी के अस्तित्व को नकारने का काम सोनिया गांधी की सरकार ने किया जिस प्रकार से आज भी राम मंदिर के प्राण प्रतिष्ठा को आरएसएस बीजेपी इवेंट बोलकर आपने उसका बहिष्कार किया राम जन्मभूमि पर जब भूमि पूजन था तो उसका भी बहिष्कार किया और कांग्रेस के नेताओं के हिंदू टेरर से लेकर सैफरन टेरर तक किस प्रकार के बयान है यह आपको समझाने की बताने की कोई आवश्यकता नहीं परंतु मैं आपसे पूछना चाहता हूं कि आपने कहा कि ताले हमने खुनवाए ताले आपने नहीं कोर्ट के आदेश से खुले थे परंतु आपसे जो वरिष्ठ है अधिक वरिष्ठ है जयराम रमेश क्या कहते हैं सुनिए तो गलतियां हमसे भी हुई है आशुतोष ऐसा नहीं है कि हमने गलती नहीं की शाबानू जजमेंट देखिए या जो ताले खुलवाए गए अयोध्या में ये है जय राम रमेश जो कह रहे हैं कि ताले खुलवाना हालांकि उन्होंने नहीं खुलवाए थे वो एक गलती थी कपिल मदान जी मैं आपका बहुत सम्मान करता हूं पर आप ऑफिशियल प्रवक्ता नहीं है वो मीडिया हेड है जो कह रहे हैं और आज भी यही चरित्र और प्राण और प्रतिष्ठा इंडी गठबंधन का नहीं बचा इसलिए मैं लगातार अपनी सरकार की उपलब्धियां गिनवा रहा हूं दस से तीसरे स्थान पर हम जा रहे हैं अर्थव्यवस्था दुग्नी पर कैपिटल इनकम दुग्नी तेरह करोड़ लोगों के पास को गरीबी से निकाला 11 करोड़ के पास नल से जल 11 करोड़ के पास शौचालय आप अपने आंकड़े गिना दीजिए और आखिरी दस सेकंड का कमेंट देखिए पांच एम जो है वो समझना होगा एम फॉर मंदिर एल के अडवाणी जी को भारत रत्न एम फॉर मंडल कर्पूरी ठाकुर जी को भारत रत्न एम फॉर मिलेट स्वामीनाथन जी को भारत रत्न एम फॉर मंडी चौधरी चरण सिंह जी को भारत रत्न और एम फॉर मार्केट करने वाले नरसिम्हा राव जी जो आपके थे उनको भी हमने भारत रत्न दिया ये एम फॉर मोदी है और आपके पास केवल एक है एम फॉर मजबूरी आई विल गो बैक टू द मूट क्वेश्चन दैट वी बीन आस्किंग दैट इन द रन अपू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वॉट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मिस्टर घनश्याम तिवारी प्लीज कम इन ऑन दिस पॉइंट इज इन टेट दिन हैज ऑफन criticize the present government that look when it comes to the real metrics of economics whether it's the gdp whether it's inflation whether it's about the social development and welfare this government has not delivered there's a white paper that has been put forward by finance minister Nir nirmala sitaraman and they argue that it is in fact in the last 10 years that substantial growth and progress has been made in this country once again you can't go back on the issues uh, you know like uh, not having enough money to build toilets in this country or not having enough money to have houses for everyone do you think that the opposition is changing goal post right now that's the allegation i want you to respond to that sir mr well, ganjam uh, bjp can have any propaganda hmm. a, a party that has turned beti bachao nara into beti bachao dhamki 
where the entire party has to come together in parliament to oust a feisty self-made member of parliament because she spoke about a crony capitalist that that is visible to the country but let us not believe in my version or shahzad's version to your viewers look at the newspapers when the newspapers tell you that people from iit and iims are not finding jobs in 2024 when the newspaper tell you that in india this is times of india economic times many newspapers that tell you hmm. that in india this year 15 lakh students will graduate from engineering colleges their parents would have paid 20 lakh rupees uh, per student for their uh, engineering college education barely 1 lakh 20000 are going to have jobs when you look at the fact bjp likes to speak on this 70 years when you look at the fact that 70 saal mein cylinder ki jitni keemat badhi thi bjp ne 10 saal mein badha diya 70 saal mein petrol diesel jitna mehanga hua tha bjp ne 10 saal mein lagbhag lagbhag utna kar diya 70 saal mein berozgari jitni thi bjp ne 10 saal mein usne kar di so this doubling of gdp and all these things building of roads who is it benefiting 70 saal mein jo businessmen duniya ke 100 businessmen bhi nahi the bjp ne unhe duniya ka dusra number ka businessman bana diya who is benefiting the idea of progress is not the idea of one nation one businessman hmm. the idea of progress is youth in our country but, but ganshyam ji they argue they have built more toilets they argue they have built more houses they argue that there is more fdi in the country which is coming compared to the ups i mean on the they, numbers they, do they we they really argue. have an answer they, they also put the numbers that they have given 44 crore mudra loans hmm. that that means that there is a, a mudra loan uh, two mudra loan in every family in this country hmm. you ask your viewers in their entire uh, mohalla has anybody got a mudra loan this is the greatest scam they have yeah. flushed the future of indian youth into the toilet okay. uh, and and pushed them towards a, a certain propaganda that will not give them prosperity ganshyam ji hold your thoughts there uh, shahza please go ahead make your point i believe only in talking about numbers and let me quote the numbers to you the labor force participation rate was below 45 in the upa today it is 57.9 the worker population ratio was about 32 today it is 56 epfo registrations which the employer pays only when somebody employed with him has doubled and most of that is in the age group of 18 to 25 which means is the first time job now 44 crore mudra loans my dear ghanshyam ji i have explained this to you these are the number of loans a person who has paid off his loan can get another loan in the last 10 years one person get in multiple loans so there might be 25 crore households in this country but a person can legitimately get two or three loans if he has paid his first loan so the total number of loans given is 44 crores but i want to ask you how much kisan samman nidhi did you give we have given 2 lakh 80000 crores how much was the agriculture budget 25000 crores today it's 1 lakh 25000 crores you are talking about beti bachao you are a party of azam khan abu azmi and somebody who commented on jaya prada's inner wear and said ke balatkar hote hai boys will be boys you are preaching to us the party of gayatri prajapati forget that now you spoke about kiske liye kaam ho raha hai ek businessman ke liye ho raha hai gini coefficient was 0.475 under the upa today it is 0.40 Hmm. the number of tax payers in the lowest bracket have now gone up uh, has gone up then from the first bracket to the second bracket has okay. gone up by 36% okay. so all, by all indicators and the per capita income of the country has doubled so what are you saying and you used to roam around with sara shri and with anil ambani so right. businessmen are bad then was anil ambani and sara shri is doing your from, company was uh, it bad tiwari then i'll bring in mr kapil madan and mr oj as well into the discussion open the newspapers and when you read about the rapists of bilkis banu ask them ask bjp that whether it is gujarat or central government is it beti bachao or rapist bachao when you look at sakshi malik crying ask uh, bjp whether it is beti bachao or rapist bachao when they look at the the rapist of B- iit bhu girl and who went back worked on the bjp it cell worked in their Ganshan campaign ji, i, I, ask I will BJP ask the bjp i will ask the bjp a question on women's security that's an important issue that you've raised but we were talking about the economics of this country so let's not shift the goal post because it does not lead Economic, us to a good discussion very simple i said yeah. i said to your viewers i appeal to your viewers if you are in your family or in your mohalla anybody has gotten mudra loan even by shahzad numbers that is at least 25 crore mudra loans that's one per family I assume that this is a successful scheme but it's a hmm. scandal hmm. even in, in your in your family if youth have found job hmm. consistently month after month reports have said one in 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 two educated youth in india are unemployed for let alone the the less educated youth hmm. this is the reality of this country no amount of of throwing data on people will change this reality Hmm. But if that is the reality of the country, sir, then why is it that what uh, what are the results in the Hindi heartland? What do they really indicate to us? Why is it that the BJP continues to get the numbers when it comes to elections in this country if they have not been able to deliver on their fundamental promise, which you rightly argue was the employment and development of this country? How do you really make peace with the election results then? 
let's take that head on if bjp was so confident ye why to, would be they ye, at, ye, the, at the uh, final hour of the election uh, uh, backstab democracy in bihar hmm. try to backstab hmm. democracy in jharkhand try to do the same thing in delhi the party that state after state is backstabbing people's mandate is not confident okay. it's confident that its tactics will work it is not shazad 30 seconds to you and then i will take closing comments the original mandate in 2020 was for the nda government of jdu bjp so you backstabbed it and stole away the government mandate the original mandate was for shiv sena bjp government in 2019 you stole the mandate away but i am asking you since you say the issues are so good and so strong then why are you forming alliances with your jani dushman aam aadmi party and congress jani dushman ek hone ki koshish kar rahe tmc left jani dushman ek hone की कोशिश केरला में कांग्रेस लेफ्ट जानी दुश्मन एक होने की कोशिश आइए अकेले अकेले और आखिरी बात बेटी बचाओ की बात चलिए वी टुक एक्शन ऑन द बीएचयू गाइस वी टुक एक्शन ऑन बिजबुरन शरण व्हाट एक्शन डिड यू टेक ऑन वैरा मुथु वैरा मुथु हैज बीन चार्ज बाय 17 वुमेन ऑफ सेक्सुअल असॉल्ट नॉट एन एफआईआर इन फैक्ट फेलिसिटेटेड बाय मिस्टर स्टालिन प्लीज टेल मी व्हाट एक्शन हैज बीन टेकन और वन ट्वीट बाय घनश्याम तिवारी ऑन दैट नो एक्शन एंड बाय द वे इफ यू आर सेइंग दिस इज अ बैंकिंग स्कैंडल एनपीएस आर एट द लोएस्ट पीएसबीस पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक्स हैव रिकॉर्डेड 1 लाख करोड़ प्रॉफिट एंड एसबीआई हैज रिकॉर्डेड हाईएस्ट प्रॉफिट सो स्टॉप योर प्रोपगेंडा कपिल आई थिंक एज़ फार एज़ द इकॉनमी नंबर्स एंड द यू नो व्हाट द गवर्नमेंट हैज अचीव्ड इज कंसर्न दे हैव पुट आउट देयर नंबर्स इज अ ब्लैक पेपर बाय द कांग्रेस एज़ वेल बट नोबडी कैन डिनाई the fact that the opposition unity is in tatters they do not look in the right shape to take on this government right now well uh, you know i uh, anusha i would agree with you that the opposition you know should be united because when the opposition was united the bjp was jolted and yeah. the bjp jolt is also visible from the fact that they are now you know desperate to have people in their fold to whom they were you know opposing you know uh, consistently look at you know what mr prime minister said about the ncp again you know Uh, uh, their own uh, uh, minister the uh, mr fadnavis he was making an allegation of chakki piecing now you the same minister well, you go find him in the morning i you think know. if shiv said no, no, no if i think if i think no, mr uddhav thakre no. and Anusha, dmk can I, be part I, of the same Anusha alliance ji, i think anybody no, i i also no, have to bring in Anusha mr ojha for no, fine comments is, no अंतिम अंतिम आपसे टिप्पणी लेना चाहूंगी जहां तक विपक्ष की बात है और राम मंदिर के इस पूरे मसले की बात है क्या आपको लगता है विपक्ष ने जिस तरह की पोजीशन ली है जिस तरह का स्टैंड लिया है कहीं ना कहीं 2024 में उनके लिए बहुत मुश्किल देने वाला होगा ये बिल्कुल बिल्कुल देखिए क्या है ये देश धर्म प्राण है ये राम का देश है आज जो भी धर्म से विपरीत बात करेगा राम से विमुख होगा जनता भी उससे विमुख होगी और इसमें कोई संदेह की बात नहीं है विपक्ष जिस राह पर चल रहा है अपने आप को और दूर करता जा रहा है भारत की सांस्कृतिक विरासत को आध्यात्मिक विरासत को जितने भी हमारे ऐसे स्थल थे उनके प्रति बीजेपी ने जो अपना रुख अपनाया है और जैसा कि अभी देखिए बेटी बचाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ आकर उत्तर प्रदेश में देखिए ये अभी कोई कह रहे थे सत्तर साल में जो नहीं हुआ दस साल में हो गया लेकिन मैं कहता हूँ हमारे योगी जी जब से आए हैं और बीजेपी की सरकार आई है यहाँ की बेटियों की स्थिति यहाँ प्रशासन की स्थिति निश्चित रूप से बेहतर हुई है इस तो टाइम वोजा जी बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया हमसे जुड़ने के लिए थैंक यू शहजाद पूनावाला घनश्याम तिवारी कपिल मैदान थैंक यू जेंटलमैन फॉर जॉइनिंग ब्रॉडकास्ट वी लैव मेनी मोर ऑफ दीज डिस्कशन इन दर ऑफ्टी ट्वेंटी फोर राइट नाउ करेंट क्रॉस